I got this bowl to put in my discards here. This way I won't have to go back and forth to the bin. They don't have to be perfect because they're going to be blitz anyway with the immersion blender, so I'm just chopping them up. Little olive oil. Since I'm going to be adding butter later on, this much of olive oil is enough. I'm going to add some salt and put this on a low heat to get them caramelized. Now I have here two and a half cups of red lentils. I'm going to be washing this. We're going to wash until the water turns clear. I'm washing it with cold water. It's getting better. Maybe one more wash and then I'll put it to the side. At this point, let's add in the lentils and saute it a little bit. Add in more salt. I'd say about three teaspoons. We're going to be adding black pepper, turmeric and a pinch of cumin. Now I'm going to be adding regular water, but if you want, you can add beef stock, chicken stock, veggie stock, all would work. Uh, it turns out better with beef stock definitely but you don't necessarily have to add it this is about half a teaspoon of turmeric and a tiny pinch of cumin if I had it at home I probably would have added some celery as well it makes it bright and tasty since I don't I will be adding some lemon juice at the end to brighten it up or you can just serve it up and then squeeze on the lemon juice and eat it as is. Now the water has been evaporated. It started sticking to the bottom a little bit. Now let's add the water. In the meantime, while it boils and cooks the lentils until it gets to a point where I have to make the roux with butter and flour, which you can totally opt out from by the way. I just like it because it makes it even more of an ump, makes it more tasty. I'm going to be cleaning up the kitchen. While this cooking up, I'll tell you a little bit about the dish. It's not by no means a main dish. It's a starter basically in Turkish cuisine as well. Or maybe a light lunch with a piece of toast next to it. Or you can add some salad next to it to make it again a light lunch. But it's generally consumed uh, as a starter so it's not the main dish for the main dish tonight i'll be making a one sheet pan chicken bake with vegetables and potatoes um, and i'm going to be serving the soup before that